So guys, uh, today I will show you how I process my BGA chips separately. So the first, uh, uh, when I take off from the motherboard, I always try to be whole. I got uh, maybe one or two with the broken caps, but uh, I always try to be whole chips. I will show you why. And um, okay. So we got uh, 100 grams, just a little bit higher. Only BJ chips. So we got the jar, and uh, I want to be whole because uh, when I put him in the AP, I use uh, in first process I use the saturated AP solution uh, just to remove that uh, tin balls and. Uh, prepare it for the next step. So, we got 100 grams BGA chips and we put them in a jar. And for the next, we put inside some saturated AP. You need to just to cover the chips, nothing else. And you leave it for a couple of days. You can add a air bubbler, but you don't need to do that. Just uh, put them in the sun or in some sun will be enough. Extraordinary heat source. And okay, we'll go back for the three days to show. I think day and a half will be will be enough to remove all, all the tin solder. Okay, see you for the day and a half. Okay, guys, after two hours, you'll see that uh, BJ chips. Uh, that on already cement some copper on uh, tin balls so look underneath so this is the sign that uh, tin change uh, place in solution with copper and uh, just little shake it then copper goes down and you see how it change color and okay you just leave it shake a couple of times a day and uh, leave it uh, till the tin all gone okay guys after a day and a half All the AP solution is remove all the tin, all that in the bottom, that slug is the tin balls, so we got a little gold in solution uh, from the gold corner, so now we, we will remove all that AP. You don't waste solution because uh, you needed the uh, filtering because you you got gold inside. Okay. Now we clean with water, chips, and prepare for another batch. Batch. Okay, we clean uh, BJ chips with uh, water. 
we keep the solution for filtering and uh, now we take the knife and uh, we will decap all the BGA chips and put in the jar with the new solution a couple of chips still got uh, little balls tin balls but uh, never mind now you will easily remove caps with the knife but I want to show you something that balls tin balls you just remove with knife the extra these stubber balls and you see it's clean for now you always took just to one side and go in the circle with the knife it's much better you see the layer is a hole hold when you do just one side like this you broke the cap and uh, your layer always stay on the plastic cap okay when I finish I come back okay we now decap all the chips so for the next step we'll add some more HCL to make the new solution for tin we will use uh, the old solution saturated solution but for the this process we use the new solution okay I think uh, that be enough and now we will add just one cup mother solution maybe just a little more okay and a little bit shake it and now we leave it on the sun for the day or two just to shake it for the while good morning guys after three days our video chips uh, are done in a AP solution so now we're gonna filter this I back when I finish. Okay, this is what's left. So we just spill him in the, the dish. Rinse your jar.
and now you take a screwdriver and you just you scratch any what is left about wire and uh, gold layer and rinse and you repeat that procedure that process with all chips you see that it easily came off okay we finish this and we process further now, uh, after we scratch all this gold from this fiber, we keep this, uh, still got some gold uh, plated in the center, in this metal part. And uh, we mix that uh, with the IC chips when the, when the process him next time. So, we got the caps. Caps contain bonding wire. You see now we're going to incinerate this and uh, this water with the scratch and gold now we filter to the same filter And we coming back when we incinerate these caps. Just a quick show that you see that I uh, incinerate the caps in the same way like every IT chips. So when it's finished, I'll go back to next pro to next pro procedure. We finished incinerating that caps, so we now crush it. Uh, fine dust and the difference uh, between the caps and the uh, IT chips uh, is that uh, no too much metal parts so it's much easier to work so I just do with this scissors and uh, when you finish you go to painting with the blue ball we crushed with dust and now we we'll go dust to the, this filter and just the bigger pieces back to the table to crush again. You don't need to use magnet because uh, in the BGA caps you don't get uh, any magnetic materials. Isn't too much, but uh, just 100 grams chips. Okay, we repeat that process with this pile here, uh, and we back later. 